Okay, so earlier I had so much to say. There was so much stuff going on at one time. But I was gonna... I can't remember which video it was that I did where I was telling y'all about a link that was sent to me. And how I said I wasn't gonna click on it. I didn't care how many followers this person had. Well, this person was Robbie Harvey. And we know Mr. Robbie Harvey is very dramatic with his with his videos and stuff. I mean, whatever. But he's not he's not in it for truth and transparency and uh, justice. He's not in it for that. He's in it for the money. And I thought when I first came across Mr. Robbie, I, I, like I had a funny feeling too. And I thought, well, you know, whatever, I followed or whatever. He had some good information. And, I mean, he, 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 I mean, he is good at what he does, captivating and stuff, so. But, uh, and I really thought he was, you know, like, in it to help. He puts on a good show. But, I had, I had someone send me some information. And since Robbie's always like, hey, I have a direct line to the FBI, and I'm in contact with the family, and I, I got this, and I got that, and I can do this, and I can do that, and if you want to remain anonymous, then you can come to me. So I was like, well, I really ain't trying to get too much dragged into stuff, because, you know, I got life of my own, too, you know. But, so I says, well, I'll give Robbie the information. So, one day in his live in his live chat I was trying to get his attention because I've done like sent him messages all over and he never responded so I, I know that feeling feeling like you're being ignored and this one day or night uh, people were like genuinely trying to help me get his attention well he gets off real quick like something happened you know and uh finally messages me back so I guess he didn't like that very much that I was trying to get his attention to give him information and and I'll, I'll show you all the screenshots too and uh, so he gets off the live real quick and messages me and he's like go to the FBI with that and I'm like dude I don't know how like I, I, we, I mean you the person you said to go to, you know, that you got a direct link and or link and all this stuff, you know. He sends me a bogus page. Nothing to even do with the FBI, any kind of law enforcement, nothing. He sends me to some Micah Miller has nothing to do with the Micah Miller that we're talking about. It's some singer. Someone that actually looked up the the link for me. And, uh, which I already knew what the FBI link was before then, um, because someone had actually sent me the direct link for it, and, but he had sent me that, like, it was like boom, boom, so it was like so quick, and I was like, wait a minute, these two links don't add up, and I thought it was odd, too, with it saying Micah Miller, I don't know, I just didn't have a good feeling so I took that information and I sent it to somebody else that is like a mod for him and uh, she said that she didn't understand why he would send a bogus page and all that either and that um, that she had been starting to notice some things too but so I really wasn't going to say too much about it because I'm not in it for the drama and all that but I mean he kind of brought on himself you know and I had kind of already learned some things about him I mean he's not a good guy and come to find out I'm not the only one that's had a bad feeling about him either and there's been several people 
they have come to me and, you know, said the same thing. And, you know, we've all thought the same thing. And, uh, yeah, he's not helping nobody. He likes to brag about how much money he can make in a live or, you know, on his TikTok and his followers and everything. He, that's what he's in it for. So, um, people, people that I respect in this, like, social media thing or people like CJ Investigates, JLR, Plunder, Watch the Obsession, they actually put in work, they actually go to the places, and not saying all of them, but you know, but I mean, they actually put in work, and they actually spend money on things like these FOIAs, and you know, and I mean, what's Robbie do? He steals people's content, he steals people's things, like that thing he came up with earlier, about did Micah cheat? He didn't have that information. I know where he got it from. And, uh, he's so full of it, y'all. But, I, I'll call him out. I don't care. I started out with nothing, I still got most of it left. So, um, he's been called out by several people. Flo's called him out. And said, "Look, dude, you want to meet up? We could we could have a meeting or whatever, you know." He didn't like it when I told him that, but yeah. And uh, oh, other things that uh, I've learned about Robbie is that he likes to brag about giving his wife the big O. If you follow where I'm going, to other women, and. Uh, he was actually, he, yeah, he's actually got a lawsuit that's uh, pending against him, which, I mean, you can find that information. And uh, I think CJ had talked about it earlier, too. And, but yeah, if, I, if I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on someone, it's going to be like CJ Investigates or JLR or, you know, Watch the Obsession or Plunder, you know, because, I mean, they actually put in work. And, uh, I mean, you got people throwing money at Robbie, $200, you know, which I mean, I could see if he was actually doing anything, but what is he actually doing? Sitting in his basement, being dramatic, talking about, you know, oh, this woman's being abused and this and that and the other, but what are you doing for these people? Because you're not really giving anybody a voice, not for real. And then you have others that do come with you for information or with information or their stories thinking you're a safe person or something. And and I'm not talking about me on this, but, you know, like people that want to be heard but are scared and you're taking advantage and exploiting them and traumatizing people. That's not cool, dude. Also, another thing, he plays the fence with JP. Him and JP act like they have beef. They don't. That's just for show. I think Robbie and JP are probably buddy buddy at this point. And, uh, sad but true, y'all. But that's my side. I had a lot more I was going to say earlier. But, like I said, I'm just going to leave it at that. But I'll show you my receipts. Um, something that Robbie doesn't do. Show receipts. He just likes to keep people, leading people on. Like, yeah, I got this and I got that and da 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 But I'm not going to show it to you. Well, if I got it, I'm going to show it to you. And if I can get it. I'm going to show it to you. And if you got questions, and I can answer them, I'm going to answer you. So, that's that. Thank y'all. Bye.
And this is my dog. Tell him I'm lethal. And he lethal. He more lethal than me. But look, tell Rob, I, we, we would love to come to wherever he at and see if he can say it. I promise you. Set it up. Set it up. In public place. Set it up. We'll set up in public place. We can set up in Starbucks. We can set anywhere. We'll have our portable cameras. It'll be a good conversation. Yep. Once again, y'all, there's nothing, no love no, lost. No, no there's love lost. Speculations and the hate. So we will yeah. like. And once again, one thing I told Flo, we was talking. Sometimes collaboration over competition is a better thing to do. So when I suggest to Rob, you might as well just reach him and tell him, listen, we want to do a duet session. Because at the end of the day, the goal is to t cover the true crime. I ain't doing that. Rob, <laughs> Rob don't listen to him. <laughs> hey, listen, I gave you we advice. <laughs> I gave you advice, Rob. You should have did it. <laughs> yeah. Le Rob, we just want to pull up. It's and I just want all this all this big stuff Rob been saying, I just want him to say it to my face. And we're going to have the camera on. Yeah. We're going to have the camera on. And I'm going to be smiling. And I'm going to be just smiling with my, my, my arms folded. I'm, I'm going to hit the gym first because I love the gym. I love the bench press about 300, plus, 300 pounds. So I work out first and whatever city in, you know, get loose. And we just going to talk. I don't have, no, I don't have nothing. I, don't have, I ain't got nothing bad to say right now. But I'm the type, if you a man, just like when JP hit me up for an interview and I was talking mess about him. And when he hit me up with the interview, I did it. So since Rob got a lot to say, I know all of y'all spread the word. We will come to him tomorrow. If he really want to stand on what he's saying, stand on it. Or are you just pandering and trying to clout chase me? But if you're not clout chasing, put the word out. I'll come to wherever you at and you can tell me all these lies to my face. But for some strange reason, y'all, I don't think he gonna do it. For some strange reason, I don't think he gonna do it. But y'all know, I'm putting my word on the line. If he wanna do it, I will be there tomorrow and we will go live. And I'm gonna say, me and you, now what did you have to say about me? Now say it right here in my face so I can hear it clearly and determine how I should handle it. I just like to address it face to face because for some reason, people are always different in my face. Yeah, that's what the hate has been coming from. The hate you know, and the Twitter from. fingers and the comments yeah. and the this and the that, they be a whole nother person. But when I pull up to them toenails and we face to face, oh, everybody, everybody want to be my friend and they, oh, it was no big deal and da da da. So I just want to see if that's the case. So if anybody could put the word out, go to Rob's comments, ask him, he's a man, allegedly. If he's a man, he been talking a lot. He needs some attention. I will come to where he at, give him some attention and give him the opportunity to tell me to my face. I will get the plane ticket today. I mean that with all my heart, y'all. Because I just want these, these, these creators to know, you don't got to talk in the comments. You don't even got to come to me. I come to y'all. If you're if, if you, if you big enough where I think you're doing too much and you should know better, I come to you. I will come to you. So please, I want to. Just like I dropped that interview, anything I say, I'm going to do. So I'm telling y'all right now, if you give me the opportunity... To, for him to say what he, all this stuff he been saying, he want to say it in my face, I'm ready. Nothing violent, no threats. I just want to see if he going to say it in my face. I don't think so, though. I just don't think so. We'll see. But to the end, they not like us. Because if, if you don't want to say it to my face, then just shut up, man. If you don't want to say it, if you scared to say it in my face, like JP, I say whatever in his face, I say it in the interview, and still be respectful, like even I'm being respectful to Rob, old ass. But don't talk, don't make all these, now, now the women, I'm not even talking to none of the women content creators. I don't have no smoke for women. If women are, any women content creators, I'm letting you know now, 
If you have bad words to say about me, I'll let you have it. I was raised, men don't argue and engage with women. We don't do that in my family. So all the women creators, y'all are fine. Y'all can spread rumors. Y'all can be upset. I would never, I would never come at a woman. No woman, if it's a content creator or if it's just a regular woman. But for men, I love it. Cause then I get to, at man, I get to, we men to man. So, you know, <laughs> you, you gotta watch your words carefully. You feel me? But women, I would never say nothing. You would never catch me going off or talking mess about a woman creator, ever. I was raised, we didn't do that. And we had women in my family who talked, <laughs> who was pit bulls and dogged everybody.